after our vessel's departure from Kujaira, we receive an instruction to proceed to Brazil to load soya beans. Soya bean is food. It means that we have to clean the ship's seven big cargo holds in a grain standard condition. This is a cargo hold. We can play basketball 5-on-5 five five inside. And there are seven of them. So for this voyage going to Brazil, cleaning the cargo holds is our priority. Hi there guys! Welcome back to my channel. For this episode, I am going to show you how seafarers clean the massive cargo holds. It is the responsibility of the deck department, my department, to make sure that before arrival at the next loading port, all of our cargo holds must be clean and dry. As the chief mate, I am in charge of the cargo hold cleaning, but the deck ratings, headed by the boson, are the ones who do the work. So how do we do it? Disclaimer guys, this video is about our vessel based on the actual cleaning of our cargo holds. Our previous cargo is corn, which is a clean cargo. So it is much easier to clean this compared to if the previous cargo is a dirty cargo like coal and many more. So let's go step by step on what we do on board. First, sweeping, air blowing, and taking out cargo residues. Sweeping and air blowing of cargo residues can start while we are still in the port, after the completion of a certain cargo hold. Only if there is available time and crew to do it because in the port everybody is busy depends on the situation but if the time permits then we have to after leaving the port sweeping and air blowing must continue until all the cargo holds are totally swept and the cargo residues are taken out second seawater washing Seawater washing is done by using general service pump located in the engine room, which is operated by the engine department. The pump will take water from the sea and delivered on the deck through the fire lines or seawater lines that the deck department will be using. Connect the industrial hose with a nozzle to the hydrant and we're good to go. Okay, 
That's the bosun. He is usually in charge of the seawater washing. He is going to take on the challenge to wash all of the seven big cargo holds. So here we are guys, we are washing our cargo hold using the seawater. And the one who is holding the hose is the bosun. He is the leader of the deck crew. The one who does the job done. While the washing is in progress, the bilge wells or drainage is also pumping out the water and cargo residues using the bilge eductor, which is also operated by the engine department. After the cargo hold is washed, the bilge wells have to be cleaned also. Some cargo residues will be left inside and has to be taken out. That's the OS. He is usually in charge of that. Or whoever is the smaller guy who can fit in the bilge well. So if you're big, you're probably exempted to be assigned there. Chemical application is needed when the cargo hold is full of stains from the previous dirty cargo. But in our vessel, we don't need chemical because our cargo holds are still in good condition. After all the cargo holds are washed, then we proceed to step 3. Fresh water rinsing. Yes, we need that. Especially if the cargo is grains. For this type of vessel, a Panamax bulk carrier, we should always assume that our next cargo is grains or clean cargo if in case the next cargo is not yet known or fixed. Fresh water rinsing can eliminate the presence of salt from the seawater being used for washing. For that matter, we can apply paints anywhere in the cargo hold without any problem. After the fresh water rinsing, then we proceed to step 4, drying up of cargo hold and bilge wells. 
Right now, they are uh, drying up the tank top. That one. Let's go see what they are doing. We had to dry it up using squeegees, sponge, or rags. Depends on what we have on board. Usually, the tank top, as you can see, there are holes, just like the road in your place. And the bilge wells have to be dried as well. Step 5. Scraping of loose rust and loose paints, then followed by touch-up painting. So it's a good day today. We have a good weather condition. So we have to take advantage with this uh, weather. Right now, they are in cargo hold number 5 and 6. So I will be going now to the cargo hold number 5 and cargo hold number 6 to check. Let's go! If the vessel is not new, then we need to do this. We have to reach the highest point as possible as we can. In this type of vessel, we don't have much equipment and a superpower to go as high as Superman. But we can be Spider-Man sometimes. Or else, we can only use sticks, ropes, safety belts, and ladders. After that, we also have to derust and paint all the hatch combings and the hatch cover under areas, if needed be. If we still have enough time, we also had to paint the bilge wells of the cargo holds. This is one of the hardest part. While painting in this tiny compartment, the fumes of the paint will irritate your eyes, nose, and skin. So our crew had to wear appropriate masks to protect themselves. They can only last a couple of minutes, so they had to switch every five minutes so we have spent one month already focusing on the cargo hold cleaning it doesn't matter as we have a long voyage and we don't need to rush it i am only the one who supervise the entire job guys but my deck crew are the ones who performed the task and by that they will be rewarded with a bonus for cleaning all the cargo holds that is how we clean the cargo holds in a grain standard condition. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoy it and at the same time you have learned something about our jobs on a cargo ship, a typical bulk carrier. And don't forget to like, subscribe 
and ring that bell icon down below. See ya!